If you're thinking about becoming a digital nomad and you're trying to decide between freelance, employee, entrepreneur, um, there are a couple things to take into consideration. So if you've never been an entrepreneur before, if you've never started a business, it's going to be really challenging to do that while you're traveling. Um, not going to lie. I'm doing it right now, and it's tough. <laughs> uh, you're going to miss out on a lot of opportunities to explore the cities as much as you probably would want to. But if it's becoming a lifestyle and you think of it as, this is my life, this isn't just a trip that I'm taking, then it's totally going to be worth it. If you're thinking about being an employee, that's if you want to have a set time and you don't mind checking in at the same time every day, um, which gives you the opportunity to go out and do a good amount of traveling. But you have to keep in mind that you're only going to be able to see the things that you can see in the evening or at night. Um, or if you're in a different time zone, then that's all going to be reversed. So you have to keep that in mind because that might get a little bit tricky and you're going to lose the flexibility of being able to see whatever you want to see whenever you want to see it. I mean, you're going to be kind of limited to weekend trips, which if it works for you, it works for you. Um, but personally, I'm the type of person who likes to vary my days. If I want to take a three-day trip in the middle of the week to go see Iguazu Falls, for example, because it's less crowded on the weekends, um, well, I guess Iguazu Falls is huge, so that's not a problem. But <laughs> if I'm going somewhere like Cumbrecita, um, the German village, and it's going to be super crowded every weekend, but I want to be able to take really quality photos and enjoy my time there in a more quiet setting, then I'm going to want to go maybe for a couple of days during the week. With that kind of flexibility, if that's something that's important to you, then I would say freelancing is a better option. If you're going to be a freelancer, you really have to look at all of your skills and you have to do a full analysis of everything that you have to offer and just figure out how to monetize everything that you're good at. You know, they always say if you're good at something, don't ever do it for free.